your Jaguars running back Maurice Jones drew and a tour player hands you a club in front of a big crowd on the 17th tee. What do you do? Could you imagine how crazy this place would be right now if Danica Patrick would have won that race? She made history a couple of different ways. The first woman to start on the pole, the first woman to ever lead a green lap. Plus, it's time to put the Tiger Woods Sergio Garcia controversy to bed. Go for it, big boy. I was in the woods with Woods with the camera. I'm Steve Wrigley. I'll tell you what really happened. That's next. All right, topic number two, guys. Who do you want to see them get in round two with the 33rd pick? Let's start with Stewart. Normally, you are the, the most talkative guy in the locker room. We need you to, just to, to bring it up a little bit, because we were talking about a segment called Slow Cooking with Pot Roast. Right. I want to know what you're thinking on a weekly basis. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. Uh, here we are camping with our Jags and our Rivers RV. I'm Steve Wrigley. This is my buddy, Julio. He's my watchdog. Kind of like I'm playing Gabbard. He's my, my Eugene Monroe is what he is. He's my left tackle. And I'm not saying if Blaine Gabbert joins us next week after throwing for 300 yards and a couple of touchdowns, you're not going to be all excited. I have a great idea for this week. Uh -huh. You know the movie A Christmas Story? Yeah. The Farkas Affair. Peyton Manning is Scott Farkas, and then you need to play that for the team, and then finally he just gets so mad. Remember that little kid? Just Ralphie just wails on him. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. I love it. I love it. That's great. That's good stuff. But has it sunk in? You're the all-time leading rusher in high school football. Yeah. He picked up his first PGA Tour win there. And you can watch him on the weekend right here on CBS 47. Byron Nelson. Right Byron here. Nelson. We've got it. Nobody else. <laughs> That's right. That's we, <laughs> unless he shoots a 90 tomorrow. Well, don't worry. <laughs> the weather guy, always throwing the bars out there. What? The barometer's half what? empty, I guess, over here. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Bursch. It's a gorgeous night tonight, though. It is beautiful. Temperatures in the 80s. Unless it rains. <laughs> OK, traffic wasn't that bad, but it was a nice day for a ride. It took about 25 minutes, and our destination is up here at the right. Greetings. A lot of bike riders today? Yeah. Absolutely. It's a great way to get here. Come on in, pedal to the players. Oh. <laughs> pedal to the players benefiting the National MS Society. Come on down. Uh, you got five dollars. Is... Come on down. Yeah, I had a little problem with the stop there. But I think I may have messed up Sergio on 17 there. I left a couple divots in the uh, the, uh, the landing area. Uh, that would be the green, Coach. Will Muschamp played Tim Tebow's tournament at the stadium course, but Sergio, he did this all by himself on 17. The Tiger Woods Sergio Garcia saga takes another turn. A highly respected official disputes Woods' claim he was told that Garcia had already hit his shot. Now, I was in the woods with Woods with a camera. Here's what I heard, and here's what I saw. Go for it, big boy. The crowd noise starts when Tiger pulls the club. Garcia says the crowd's reaction threw him off. Watch the next clip. And remember, the crowd reacts the second they see Tiger pull the club. I count a full five seconds before Garcia hits his shot. Make a move. He's on that pine straw in the tree. This is the dispute. It's synced up. Woods pulls the club. Garcia has five seconds to back off. He hits anyway. It's not good. The look is going to say it all. It's a two-shot swing when Woods makes birdie and Garcia bogeys. In summary, Woods is wrong for saying the marshal told him to hit. Garcia is wrong for blaming Tiger. So Marshall didn't like being put in the middle. Here's what Marshall John North had to say. Nothing was said to us, and we certainly said nothing to him. I was disappointed to hear him make those remarks. He was saying what was good for him. It lacked character. In summary, bogeys all around for Tiger Woods and Sergio Garcia on this one. Ah, oh, the famous 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Jonathan Bird hands Maurice Jones Drew a club, and he hits it to within 10 feet. Get up, get up. Yeah, no glove, no warm-up, no problem. The shot's closer to the pin than Zach Johnson and Stuart Sink, a former Masters champion and a former British Open champion. Way to go, Mojo. All right, on a serious note. Former Players Champion and Ponte Vita resident Vijay Singh is suing his employer, the PGA Tour, over his suspension and then reinstatement to the tour. Singh admitted to using deer antler spray in a Sports Illustrated interview. A Dear VJ tribute in response to VJ Singh's lawsuit against the PGA Tour for the way his use of deer antler spray was handled. That suit will be settled in court, but apparently the people are speaking here at round one of the Players' Championship. Great day weather-wise. Nice day to shoot a 66 or a 67. There were a couple of those, but one man shot the round of the day. Yeah, Brian, you know, they've said from day one with Mike Malarkey, do your job is one of the things that they want to see out of this football team, but the frustration is building. They're one and three. They've had two blowout losses. They don't get a chance to turn that around until four o'clock today against the Chicago Bears. So they are looking at one another for inspiration to turn this season around.
The Jacksonville Jaguars are hoping the one and three start is not a reflection of who they are as a football team. I broke on the ball and had it in my hands um, with nothing but green, green grass and opportunity to get it in. Mike Malarkey and the coaching staff have to convince a young team that has won in spectacular fashion and lost two home games they were never in that they can beat the Bears today. I think they know it's there. We just we need to put a complete game together by all three units. If somebody's playing better than somebody else, we'll make a change. It's about developing the Jaguar way. Paul Puzlesny doesn't want Jag to stand for just another guy. I can do this a little bit better. I can do my job a little bit better. You do that across the board, you start to see big changes going on. There have been flashes of brilliance on the road in the first quarter of the season. Nothing wrong with beating the Bears at home in a thriller. Hey, and let's stay with the Michael Jackson theme for a second. How about just beat it and tell the Bears to head on back up to Chicago? So accountability and playing tough physical football are two traits that Mike Malarkey wants this team to have. They're going to get the chance to show that today in the heat. And what's it like to run a car into a wall at 300 miles per hour? Well, Antron Brown shares the experience on Action Sports tonight around 11.25. In other words, he, he lived to talk about wow. it. He walked away from it. Wow. He did. And no plume of smoke comes out of Everbank Field, but they do make a move down there finally. Oh, exactly. <laughs> All right. Ricky, don't lose that number. No doubt Ricky Stenhouse Jr. has Danica Patrick's number. The two are dating. They are an item. The process to determine who's on the poll for the Daytona 500, that starts Sunday. The process for how the media, race fans, and drivers are going to deal with the budding romance between Danica Patrick and Ricky Stenhouse Jr., well, that started today. The two drivers did their media meet and greet. They are trending with more than 600 articles related to their romance just today. Stuart Weber likes fast cars and has Valentine's Day from Daytona. Thanks, Stuart. We have big plans for race day on the 24th. We will be live from Victory Lane with the man or woman who takes the checkered flag. NFL players are now taking Viagra looking for an edge. What? You heard me. Okay. 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 We'll, we'll have more on maybe tonight <laughs> at 11. <laughs> <laughs> right? We'll see you later. <laughs>